Alrighty friends, so welcome back. We're here today at Animal Kingdom and we're doing something a little bit exciting. So we're actually gonna play Rock, Paper, Scissors. Yes, so we're gonna play Rock, Paper, Scissors and let fate decide our day. We broke our day up into five different categories. We're gonna do a ride. And after the ride, we're gonna do a snack. And then we're gonna do a show. And then after the show, we're gonna do a character meet and greet. And then we're gonna end it out with our dinner slash lunch. We were gonna do lunch, but it's a little bit later in the yep. day. But let's start it off with our snack and let's get on in there. Right, let's go. Alrighty, so for our first round of rock, paper, scissors, it's gonna be for our snack, our first snack of the day. So my pick is that Trilobites by Donald's Dino Bash, and they have a vanilla orange creamsicle type of skull whip, and I am dying for that, it's so hot. So that's gonna be my pick. So my pick for rock, paper, scissors is gonna be Mr. Kamal's, Mr. Kamal's seasoned fries. Those things are delicious, and fries are always good. So let's see who wins. So I'm rock, nervous. Okay, so you got the dough whip and I got the season fries. Yeah. Okay. Rock, paper, rock, paper scissors, shoot. Oh, rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, wait, oh, wait what? <laughs> yes. Let's go get okay. dough whip. It's hot, so it's I am perfect. I'm actually very happy about this because it is very hot. <laughs> this is probably like the first day in so far the spring season that it's been hot, so dough whip sounds delicious. Let's go. So, the first winner of the day has her Dole Whip. How is yeah. it? I haven't tried it yet, but this is a vanilla saucer with an orange Dole Whip, so it tastes just like a creamsicle. This is by far my favorite Dole Whip flavor. I'm excited. <laughs> 10 out of 10, it's so good. The next category on our Rock, Paper, Scissors challenge is a uh, character meet and greet. Well, so we are actually right next to Dino, uh, uh, we are right next to Donald's Dino Bash. So luckily both of our characters are going to be right in here behind us. So I, of course, pick Donald himself. So what's your point? Okay, and last time you guys remembered I missed Chip and Dale. So naturally Chip and Dale and their Dino costumes have to be my pick. So you're on. Let's see who wins. All right, you ready? Yep. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ow. All right, so. Oh, Donald it is. Ooh, okay. All right, I feel like that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Right, so. Dino yeah, so let's go into Dino Land and try to find the Dino Comic. Let's go. <laughs> Hi Donald! <laughs> I love your outfit. You look amazing. 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> So if, you want to jump in. so if you're looking to meet Donald in his little dino area, you are going to come directly across from Triceratops Spins. And Donald meets right here with his little dino bash background. We got super lucky and he was out right when we walked up, so it's perfect timing. So we just met Donald over in Dino Land and I'm not going to lie, that's probably one of my favorite Donald meet and greets throughout all the parks. His outfit and his getup is fantastic here in Dino Land, so 10 out of 10 for sure. I can't wait to do it again. Definitely gonna have to come back to meet Chip and Dale because when we were in line for Donald, we seen Chip and Dale starting to come out for their meet and greet. So, but unfortunately today is just not the day for that Lex. But the next category that we're gonna go through and do is our ride. And my choice for ride is gonna be, of course, Dinosaur. Okay, so Kyle clearly wants to torture me by picking Dinosaur. We all know how I feel about dinosaurs. But my pick is gonna be Expedition Everett. So let's see who wins. And I really don't want to ride dinosaurs, so let's hope that I win. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm satisfied with either one. I love Expedition Everest and I love Yeah, it's a win-win so. for you. It's a win-win for me. Yeah, kind of like everything so far, it's been a win-win for me so far. You can't so. really go wrong at Disney World. Yeah, I mean, exactly. On. Except for you and dinosaurs, so let's, you ready? let's do this thing. Rock, Rock paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! Yay! Okay, okay right, let's right, go to let's <laughs>
Mission Everest is a high-speed roller coaster type train ride to the roof of the world that includes sharp turns and sudden drops traveling both forwards and backwards. Okay friends, so we're about to get on Everest. This is our ride and unfortunately it is a 55 minute wait so we're not going to wait. We're going to teach you a little hack and two in the single rider line. It works especially if there's only two of you, you don't mind riding alone. It'll save you a bunch of time. Okay, so it took us 10 minutes on and off, and I got to do single riders front row by myself. That was an insane experience. It was so much fun, but it was kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. Alrighty, friends. So we just got off Everest. That was the best, as yep. always. Uh, 10 out of 10. 10. Yeah, Everest is always a great ride, and I'll never complain about the ride that day. No, it was the best. I'm so glad I won. But speaking of winning, yes. let's keep that train rolling, yeah, okay. and we're on to our show. So that's yes. gonna be our next category. Yep. So my show choice is actually going to be The Lion King. We haven't done it in a while, and that's my favorite show. I do love the Festival of the Lion King. And I am going to pick the Feathered Friends and Fe Feathered Friends in Flight. I think that's what it's called. Um, we've never seen that show before. Mm -mm. We've heard great things about it, and I watched the uh, behind the scenes the Animal King Animal Kingdom thing on Disney Plus, and yeah. they, they talk about that a handful of times. So I'm, very I'm excited, excited either way. Yeah, either way, it's going to be amazing. So. But I really want to watch The Lion King, so you're going down. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's see here. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoe. Rock, paper, scissors, shoe. Oh, okay, well, we get to experience something new. Yep. So let's head over to Feathered Friends and Flight. And we have 12 minutes to get there, so let's go. Run. Alrighty, friends, so we made it over to Asia, where we have Feathered Friends and Flight. And this is our first time actually experiencing this show. You get to see and learn about all different types of birds, and it's really cool. I'm super excited to head in there. choice for a show and I am very glad that I picked that show because that show was one very entertaining two very educational and three very conservative because it helps help spread the word about all like the endangered species of birds and stuff like that that we have around the world so I and we got show. to see a bald eagle yeah that's like this show was amazing this I will make sure every, almost every time we come to Animal Kingdom if we have time I will carve the time out of our day to come and sit down and watch the show because that was amazing. Alrighty, All friends. friends. So now we're down to our final category, which yes. is food. I yes. am super excited because I'm starving. Me and you both, and you're going down this time because I feel like I've been losing all day. I think I, I started like off I lost strong. All day. 
I think we're actually tied. I yeah, think it's 50-50, so. so this is gonna be like our That's actually cool. This yeah. is our like tiebreaker okay. round. Okay. okay. Alright. So my choice is actually gonna be Santilli Canteen. I am so excited. We've never eaten there. Yep. I don't know how, but we've never eaten there and I want to choose Burger Pond. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the old classic flame tree barbecue. I'm in a barbecue mood. I would like you some delicious wrong. barbecue, so let's see what we got going. All right. Ready? This one's got a lot of pressure on okay. it. Take it home. Or actually don't. I want to take it home. I want to yeah. win. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, no! <laughs> I am the champion. So now, let's place our mobile order and head over to Pandora. Okay, so a fun fact that not a lot of people know is if you are on a bridge, you are either entering or leaving Discovery Island each time. See, we're crossing another bridge, so we're now leaving Discovery Island. So this is our first time here at Santilli Canteen. We mobile ordered, it was super easy to come in and grab them. We got the cheeseburger steam pods with the vegetable chips. So let's give the vegetable chips a try first. The flavor's good, they're just thick. But the flavor is kind of like a spite, like a smoky. Like it's got a little bit of a kick to it. So the flavor is really good. I think if they were fresh, it would be better, but they is a little bit slower, so that's probably why. But let's move on to the star of the show, the cheeseburger pond. So this is a steamed cheeseburger pod stuffed with ground beef, ketchup, mustard, pickle, and cheddar cheese. So let's give this a shot. That looks so good. It looks similar, and what I'm hoping it's similar to is the cheeseburger spring rolls from Magic Kingdom. So fingers crossed. It's really, really good. It's not better than the spring roll, but it's really, really good. It's like, you can definitely taste the mustard. It's a little bit strong on the mustard, and I'm not a huge mustard fan, so maybe be wary of that. But it's really good. It's nice and creamy. It's flavorful. It's tender, juicy. The pod is nice and fresh. It has like a good consistency to it. I would give this a solid like eight and a half out of 10. It's pretty good. Start with the veggie chip as well. See how this bad boy is. But you said, I like the seasoning on it, but it's a little stale. We'll have to try to come back a little earlier in the day. Try to get it a little fresher. But now for the bad bun. She split hers in half, but I'm just going all in for it. Wow. <laughs> really though. Whatever. Whenever we got it, I thought the bun, the bun was going to be like too gummy, but it's like perfect. It's like the perfect softness. I don't know how to like describe it because it's not like crispy or anything like that, but it is really good. The meat and the filling inside of it tastes just like cheeseburger spring roll from Magic Kingdom. I give it eight, eight and a half out of ten as well. This thing is delicious. We'll definitely be back this. Are you happy that you lost and we had to come here? Yes, I am happy that I'm lost. I lost. I'm happy about all my loses today because Expedition Everest was amazing. We actually were able to ride it twice back to back because we rode single riders and it took less than 10 minutes and the wait time was like 60 minutes. So we said, why not? And yeah, so my losing is a win and I like it. <laughs> Alrighty, friends. So I think that kind of wraps up our day here at Animal Kingdom. Yep. We that, had so much fun. Yeah, that was amazingly fun. We're going to have to start doing that for every park now. So mm -hmm. if you guys like this, make sure you like and comment yeah. and let us know. Like, let us know what park you want us to do next. Do you want us to do Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, yeah. Epcot, like whatever. All right. But if you guys like this video, give us a like. A comment. And subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell notification button. And we'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye. bye.